you lose with the bone daddy. If you're in a band or you have a business and you need to get Good some Good morning, merch, Ramos family. Done, About to well, bust out some of your no tunes pretty soon. Yeah. Teal Press. Yeah, Teal Press in Fullerton has... I don't know who does your uh, silk screen and whatnot, but Teal Press in Anaheim, Fullerton area. It's off State College next to Burger Records. They do an amazing, amazing job. So if you guys need merch, hit up Teal Press. Tell them Bone Daddy sent you. Get a special Tim Saxton discount. Bone Daddy sent you. Just like you said. The one-stop shop. For all your merchandise One stop needs. shop for all your merchandise needs. Oh, yeah, Teal Press. OC Radio. Oh, good morning. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. I love having you guys on my show. You guys make the show. Seriously, it should just be the Kid Ramos music radio show. Leave a comment, subscribe, and get the notifications so you can be up on what's new and local in the Southern California area right here at C4OC Radio. Let me see you over at our YouTube channel. Get to the YouTube channel, everybody. The label actually made me do this disclaimer for an album we put out in Germany. I was like, really? Wow. So you guys get to hear it now. And it saves me from having to say, hey, I'm a jackass, but, you know, I, I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> hey, this is Tim Saxton. It sure is. He expressed words and opinions on this album for just that. Opinions. Their opinions. Great man would say that opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. They sure do. Mind that be the wrong way? Just consider me one of the assholes. Good morning, Joby. Enjoy. Shoot these. You're the weak. And I am the tyranny of evil men. Ah, uh, Eli, brother. It's up on the I'm island, trying, my friend. Ringo. I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. Hey, ignition sequence has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Liftoff. 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 Feeling the love in the air. Oh, damn it, right now. That was a beautiful applause. Thank you, guys. That applause is for you for tuning in and supporting local music right here on C4OC Radio. Please go to our YouTube channel and check that out and, uh, and give some support to all these bands that we're playing for you guys on the air. Welcome, everyone, to Sunday Morning Blues with the Bone Daddy. I'm your host, Tim Saxton. Right here on C4OC Radio. Got a lot of people on Facebook tuned in. Thank you all so much for tuning in and supporting these local artists. Uh, most of these guys that I'm playing, I've grown up listening to in Orange County, California. And uh, a lot of people from all over the United States send their music in. Uh, but mostly the music on here is from Southern California. And uh, these are guys that, before I could even get into a bar, I'd be standing outside there with my skateboard listening to them play, you know, and, and stuff like that. And... Uh, as I got more into music, I got to play with these guys. So it's kind of, you know, working to achieve a dream to, to just be a part of, you know, and be able to put music out there is just a, a great thing for me. Uh, which is why yesterday I was so excited to go and play the toy drive for Orangewood Children's Home at the Doll Hut in Anaheim yesterday. But there were some concerns, uh, some COVID concerns, and we didn't want that to fall back on the radio station uh, of us throwing a gig and people getting sick from it possibly or the companies we support or the companies that we support and that support us so uh we had to back out of that but for for me rock and roll is a sign of rebellion parents didn't like rock and rollers when we were young you know we were the rebels you know we we went against the grain of society and we pushed the boundaries of being able to expand our freedoms to sing about and do what we want and play when we want. And uh, part of me feels like a lot of that has gone away with artists um, because here, here's the thing. The freedoms we have in America, people fought and died for. And for us just to hand them over freely, it pisses me off. It, it makes me want to just say, I get the safety thing, don't get me wrong, I do. 
but it also makes me sit there and go, dude, where the fuck have the American balls gone? Because seriously, 99.9% survival rate on the whole COVID thing, and we're just willing to give up everything for it. And, okay, so what happened to those people who fought for this country that gave you the right to have the freedom to just be who you are, you know? Whatever happened to that? Because it's going to get taken away from you if you don't stand up. That's all I'm saying. That's, that's for me. And so my band stood up with me last night. We came back here to the compound, and we still raised mm-hmm. money and toys for Orangewood Children's Home by going live. And you know who else did that? Some fucking badass real rock and rollers. The headliners, Stonebreed. Didn't have to, but they got a hold of us. They came down to the station. They fucking killed it last night. And I was so stoked to get to play with those guys. And the fact that they came down and supported the kids anyway and played some music, man, that's what it's about. We find a way around it. Okay, if we can't do it in public, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to find a way to keep doing what we do and helping people out that need the help. And it's Christmas time, for fuck's sake. So, you know, helping kids out, giving them that little bit of magic left in the world when we know that there isn't any. But it's the idea of it. You know what I mean? It's it's keeping it out there for the kids and the people that still supported, still came online. Uh, over a thousand people watched both bands last night. I'm so proud of that fact that you guys tuned in and supported these kids, yeah. regardless of not being able to come to a club. So what? We didn't get to come to a club. But Danny Ray and Pops, they still got up there and jammed it because yep. we, we were trying to do something. Stonebreed? Stonebreed fucking killed it last mm-hmm. night. Carlos, God yep. bless you and thank you. Thank for coming out, you. and your whole band were just tremendously cool people, and thank you so much. So, for all the artists that are still trying to do stuff, I, I applaud you, and I thank you very much for uh, keeping the music going. For all of you who tune in and support and share, God bless you too, because it's you're the reason that it's still going. And I don't want you guys to give up that fight. I don't want you guys to give up music. Without music in the world, it, it's just going to be a gloomy place, I can tell you. And uh, I'm an artist that definitely doesn't ever want to see that. And uh, so anyway, enough about my bullshit opinions. That's just me. But uh, I love you guys for for always supporting and and knowing that I'm an idiot sometimes. And then you accept me for that. (laughs) That means we're pals. And I I appreciate that because I know I'm not like the sharpest tool in the shed on most occasions. But I have opinions Mm -hmm. just like everybody else. I don't want to force my opinions on you. These are just my own thoughts on it, honestly. I'm not trying to tell you how to live uh, at all because, honestly, I barely know how to live myself most of the time. I get through the days the best I can. You know, I think just like a lot of people out there struggling right now, we all get through the days the best we can. We rely on our friends for support and love, and, uh, and I appreciate all my friends and family that support and love me. I support and love you back, and... Uh, Speaking of supporting and loving, um, I got brand new music right here for you right now. Right now. No one else is going to have it yet because it hasn't been released. Actually, the album hasn't been released. I might get in trouble. I might not. I don't even care. Um, Oh, another quick note to the friends at Facebook, okay, who like to fact check me. Here's the deal, guys. We're a radio station. We pay Samcast legal fees every month to play the songs that we do. So every time you want to shut us down, uh, well, you can't shut the radio station down. That's just out of your control. So we can still play that. But uh, when you shut us down on Facebook, uh, it's kind of lame, right? We're not showing kitty porn or anything. We're playing music, music that we pay to play it. We have the rights to play it, fact checkers. So why don't you do your job and check the facts before you start cutting us off? And here's another little tip. We were trying to raise money for Orangewood Children's Home yesterday. So when we did our live feed, I tried to do a collection thing. You know how when you raise money for a charity? Facebook decided that I'm not allowed to raise money for a charity because I've broken community standards too many times by playing songs. So you're telling me, Facebook, that you don't really care about the kids? You don't really care about these charities. You only care about your stupid-ass rules. Why don't you cut me off? How about that? Why don't you just eliminate all my pages? I give a shit about your stupid ass company honestly that's that's truly how I feel that's my opinion you guys I might might not all agree with it that's fine you know um, but for me you guys can kiss my ass 
when you won't let people raise money for kids because yep. I played a fucking song from fucking Etta James or something. That's some lame ass shit. Honestly. If I if I had the money saved up, I'd come to where Facebook is and just kick your fucking asses. I'll fight. Personally, I'd probably bring two, three of my friends. We'd all smoke a joint while we're doing it. Because you're all a bunch of geeky nerds who have no life, probably have never been laid ever. This is me bitching. And I don't normally do that on that show. Usually I like to vent prior to come because I don't want to put out a bunch of negative shit. But you guys do it all by yourselves. Right. Facebook? With your Denny, stupid ass standards Mark of Zuckerberg, crap. Denny will actually Honestly. do a go live boxing match with you. Oh my God. Yeah. Right? Denny There's a challenge, Zuckerberg. And and for me, I challenge all the fact checkers. You can all get in the ring together, okay, and fight me Denny one on 20 or 100 or however many of you little nerdy kooks there are who don't know how to do your job. I'll take you all on at once. And I'm pretty sure I, I probably wouldn't even break a sweat knocking the shit out of you people. So I'm saying if you're going to do your job, do your fucking job or go flip burgers. That's all I'm saying. I put 100% into every job that I do, no matter how crappy it is. No matter how much I don't want to do it. I'm not going to give my friends and customers crappy service because I don't particularly like crawling under a house and changing out a shit pipe. But I'm going to do the best job I can to make sure that that never happens again because that's my job. Everyone should take their job that seriously, whether you're flipping a burger or not. Let's just say you're working in a fast food place. You ready? Somebody orders a burger with no pickles. You're back there. You're like, eh, I don't give a shit. Okay, that person who's eating at your fast food place, by the way, it's fast food. Okay, obviously they can't afford to go do anything else at that point. People work hard for their money. And they just spent money at your establishment for you not to care. You should go back to your mom's house, go back to playing your Xbox or whatever crap is fucking popular right now, and stay there. Because you're a useless fuck in society. I don't normally get like this on my show. I'm sorry about that. I apologize for being this way this morning. But a lot of things have pissed me off this weekend. Yep. And Facebook, you're one of them. You know, not allowing people... Guess what? We raise money for the children's home anyway, so go fuck yourself. That's right. Because people care more than you do. Please go to... That's it. People who care are going to fucking help. And people that don't are going to stay self-important in the world. Right? Everybody bitching at everybody about, you know, I'm just saying, it's it's ridiculous how self-important we all are instead of looking out for the best for everyone. I'm done with my rant now. I love you guys for listening to me. I apologize for my rant this morning because this is not what my show's about. My show's about bringing music and love and sharing what I've, what I've found in the world to be amazing, like the music I'm going to play for you. That's what I'm here to do, play some amazing music, and I've got a fresh one right now, hot off the presses. It's not even out yet.